Hello everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how I created three different aerial view animations in Adobe After Effects using Red Giant Tsunami. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you're interested in seeing more quick tips and tutorials for Red Giant Tsunami, I will link them in the description box below. So if you're interested in creating any of these three aerial ocean scenes, please keep watching. So we are now in Adobe After Effects, and I'm going to start a new composition. So I'm just going to click on New Composition, and I'm going to name this Water. And I'm just going to keep the standard 1920 by 1080 and make it a 40 second duration. Next, I'm going to create a solid layer, so just go to Layer, New, Solid. And I'm just going to name this layer, click OK. And then under Effect, go to Red Giant Tsunami. And under Preset, I'm going to go to Bright Day and choose Sunny Sunday and click Go. Now we're ready to animate our first scene. So make sure your time ruler is at the beginning of your graph editor area. And then we are going to go under Camera and we're going to click the stopwatch for East West. And we're going to drag our time ruler all the way to the end and we're going to type in 1300. So we're going to start with 0 and end with 1300, but you can adjust these numbers depending on the speed that you want. Um, so if you decrease the number, it's going to go slower, and if you increase the number, it's going to go faster. So if you end lower than 1300, it's going to go slower, and if you end higher than 1300, it'll go faster. Now to create our second ocean scene, all we're going to do is change the elevation, and we're going to bring that up to 150. And we are going to keep our keyframes the same for our east to west. So we're already finished with that second ocean scene that we just created. Now we're ready to create our third aerial ocean scene. And now we're just going to change a couple other settings. So under tilt, we are going to bring that up to 150. And field of view, we are going to change to 90. And we're just going to keep the keyframes the same for this third scene. And every time I changed my ocean settings, I exported to save the footage that I created. And that's it. Thank you for watching this quick tip on how to create uh, aerial ocean animation in Adobe After Effects using Red Giant Tsunami.